Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna be reviewing the 2020 D Marine CF Glitch Limited Edition. So, just some basic minor tips about this bat. Uh, it's very unloaded, and uh, so if you're more of a contact hitter, you're gonna want probably a the Voodoo if you're one at D Marine because the Voodoo's are very balanced. But with these composite bats, you're gonna have a lot more trajectory by like 30 to 40 feet, which is a lot. And then another thing with these composite bats, like this bat right here, they're gonna break down on you easier because these layers that are in the composite break down and thin and then they eventually break, but sometimes they don't break. But another thing, if you buy one of these newer bats, Steve Randy sends you a one year warranty, so that's another good thing. So this is a 32 drop five. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be taking some swings off the tee right now and then ahead in the video I'll be at a field taking swings so let's see how I do. So this thing is a composite handle, composite barrel obviously. It's got the same cap since well I think 2018. That type is done but I didn't like the grip on the bat for one thing too so I switched that up but that's all preference. If you like the amazing grip which I don't. So yeah. So I had the 2019 Zen, the limited edition, the black and gold one. And I had the 2020 Zen, the yellow and black one. This bat feels to have a slight bit more pop. That's just preference. And I don't know why. It just feels like when it comes off the bat, it just kind of launches. So yeah, just a couple more things about this bat. I, I like it. Just, it's a little, in, it's end loaded, obviously. That's gonna tank the ball in another 30, 40 feet, like I said earlier. But yeah, we'll do my last swing right here. And uh, I will see you guys at the fields. Okay, so we're on 300 foot fences. Now we're at the point of the video that you guys have all been waiting for. What's my review on the bat? One, very end loaded. It's either sweet spot or it's kind of just a dud. Second, the pop, if you do hit the sweet spot, that thing is gonna launch. And I mean, I just could have hit my uh, farthest ball ever. I think it would be touching 270. So, I don't know, we'll pull up the Google Earth and check that out. But, that, a lot of pop. I mean, I really kind of pooped the bed once we got on this small field. I think I was just trying to kill the ball too hard. Choked up a little bit and absolutely nuked the ball. Like that thing was, that thing was launched. So, do I recommend getting it? Yes. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in my next bat review if I ever get a new bat because I do have a BB core for high school. But I rate the bat nine out of nine and a half out of ten. Just you gotta hit that sweet spot. 
and I would get it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.